Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama, and today I wanted to share with you what a week in elemental science looks like for the logic stage. As you can see, this is the biology for the logic stage, and um, I do need to preface this video by saying that the creator, Paige Hutch Hudson, was so kind to send this to me for free for my review. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and dive right in. So in the teacher guide, I'm just going to go ahead and flip to a random week here. All right, we're going to do week three. Um, in here, there's two options for a schedule. You can either do two days a week or you can do five days a week. Or like me, you can do three days a week. We'll be doing these three things three days a week. Um, so what a week is going to look like for us is on Mondays, we're going to do our assigned reading. And for this week, it's out of the Usborne Science Encyclopedia. I apologize. I don't have my encyclopedias yet. I have ordered them. I'm just waiting for them to come in the mail. But um, I will definitely show you guys those once they arrive. But anyway, we'll do our assigned reading out of the encyclopedias. And I do plan to read this aloud to my son. Um, but this could be done totally independently if you wanted it to be. Other than the experiments, I obviously think parents should probably monitor the experiments but um if you wanted it to be done independently other than that it totally could be um but I want to learn too I I really do I want to learn too um so we do our reading then he's going to write an outline or a list of facts on his student guide page and I'm going to show you that right now let's see sorry page 32. So here, just some blank paper for him to write things down. There are some discussion questions up here to kind of guide him in what he's writing. So there's that. And that's what our Mondays will look like. On Wednesdays, we will be doing our experiments. So for this experiment, it is what kind of tree is it? So over here in the teacher guide, it tells you all the materials you need for this particular experiment and what you're going to do. So simple as that. Pretty awesome in my opinion. And then for the final day of science for the week, we will be doing, we will be doing that on Fridays. And he will be going ahead and doing his vocabulary words, which let me show you in the student guide where he'll be doing that. So each um, week has um, has the vocabulary words already written in here for them to go ahead and fill out what the definition is, which is awesome. We don't have to use any extra paper for it. It's all in the student guide. Then after that, he will be entering the dates onto the timeline. I think I mentioned in my first video about this program that there is a huge timeline in here for them to enter in the dates each week, which is so awesome. So by the end of this, we will know what happened in science during the ancient times, during the Renaissance, during the medieval times. We will know what was happening in science during the modern times to present. I think that is so awesome, and I'm really excited to have that timeline. And then the next thing that we would do on Friday is color and label the sketch. There is a weekly sketch. Which I, which I think is awesome as well. Let me see what page that is on. It is on page 29. And here it is. So this is the weekly sketch. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the other ones because there's some really cool ones in here. There's that one for week four. Week five. So I'm really, really excited about the um, weekly sketch part. I think that's going to be right up his alley. Um, he loves to draw, so that'll be great. So that is pretty much what a week in elemental science is going to look like for us. Now, as I said, there is the two-day option, or there's a five-day option, or you can do it like me and kind of create your own thing. Um, I am a big believer in making the curriculum work for you. Um, my first year homeschooling, I was kind of one of those people that was a slave to the curriculum, and that just didn't work for me. It made homeschooling really hard. It made the burnout very, very real. And I just think you got to make it work for you. 
So that is all I wanted to show you guys today. I just wanted to give you a glimpse into a week into this awesome program. And again, I want to say thank you to Paige Hudson for sending this to us for free for our review. We are so excited to dive into it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please post them below as always. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys later.